Now I'm gonna do a quick video here on how to user catch. Now this is more kind of just informing you guys of the importance of user catching and this is really gonna take practice. Um, so here, again, when we user catch, it's usually gonna be uh, when we throw something late to the silent. That's usually when I find myself uh, going for clicking on the do a user catch. Uh, or even you can really click on to catch every rod just to get better uh, catching animations because sometimes in Madden, uh, the CPU is not going to give you uh, the best animations after the catch. So um, it's, it's good to get practice clicking on to everything. Uh, but where it's going to be most important is on these sideline catches. Like if you were to throw something late. Uh, so all I did there, again, this is really all practice. But you click on, you hit B. Where you hit circle if you're on PlayStation and you take the left analog and you just kind of push back on it that's all I did so I clicked on here because I knew I was approaching the sideline and if I let the CPU catch this he was probably gonna go out of bounds uh, so I clicked on here and you know I stopped him just for a second just so my momentum wasn't gonna carry me out of bounds because uh, then I wouldn't have caught the ball so again I just kind of stopped uh, with my user I you saw I clicked on here and basically, I just pulled him back with the left analog. Uh, and then I pulled him back with the left analog. And then I went forward to, to possession catch it. Whereas if I had just let the CPU catch it, uh, like if I had just kept up this momentum and just kept running, uh, there's a really good chance this would have been called out of bounds. So that's why I stopped him for a second, just so I could fit this in in bounds. So... Again, let me try to replicate that again and let me throw it late again, but let me not click on just so you guys can see the difference. And this is something I would just try out in practice mode. There's not it, there's not much to it again, it just takes practice and repetition. You know, it's like uh it's like shooting free throws and you know, getting your uh shooting form down. Same thing. See right here, uh since it was so late, uh it just ended up going out of bounds. Uh, whereas if I had clicked on, if I had clicked on and just pulled him back for a second, there's a much higher chance I would have been able to stay in balance here. Uh, but since I didn't click on him, pull him back again, my momentum just carried me out of balance here. So again, this is just something that I'll take practice. Um, again, back to my analogy of, you know, it's just like shooting a basketball. You know, you're not gonna. It, there's there's not much. Well, once you once you see the technique and once you know how to do, it's more about just you know doing it over and over and over again until you perfect it. Again, it's the same thing in Madden. Uh, I would say maybe something you could do for 25 reps before bed, 50 reps before bed. You know, after you play a game, just you know, just do five, ten minutes of just practicing this in practice mode, and you're gonna notice significant improvements in your game and the user catching aspect. And this goes for any any aspect of the game. You know, if you want to work on your reads or if you want to work on your pocket presence, uh, again, which I'll talk about a lot more in an upcoming course, but uh, it's, good, it's good to always go back at the end of the day and, you know, even practice for like 5, 10, you know, 30 minutes on certain aspects of your game. Um, again, you will notice significant improvements if you're consistently just making like 15 minutes a day to do, you know, practice on certain aspects.